Hi there. In this video, we'll show you a quick demo of Teleport 4.3 Community Edition. Teleport is a simple secure access solution that developers use to remotely manage their cloud or edge environments via SSH or Kubernetes. Let's download and install Teleport. Teleport is an open source project. You can find it on GitHub, or you can download the pre-built binaries from our downloads page. The easiest way to get started is to download the 64-bit Linux tarball. Let's grab that URL. Let's take a look. Inside, you'll find just three binaries. Teleport is a Linux daemon similar to SSHD. It needs to be running on the servers you need to access. TSH is the client to run on developers' machines. You can rename it SSH for convenience. And tcuddle is your remote administration utility. Getting Teleport daemon up and running is easy. It needs a configuration file in the etc directory, such as most Linux tools. Also, create and enable a systemd service for it. You can find examples for those in the downloaded table. Let's see what it's like to use Teleport. Right now, I'm in a clean command line environment and I don't have any SSH keys. First, I have to log in using the address of a Teleport proxy. In this video, Teleport is configured with GitHub authentication. A web browser pops up and asks me to log into my GitHub account. I'm going to use my username, password, and second factor. The certificates for SSH are now stored in my command line environment. I can now access my servers. Here's me getting access to my staging box. typing some random commands and pretending that I'm doing something important. Let's do something fun, like htop. I can do this again without having to go through GitHub. For better security, my SSH certificate will expire in a few hours and I'll have to authenticate in again. In addition to basic access, Teleport has neat features like letting me see what environments my organization has. These are called clusters. In my case, I only have one cluster and that's my staging environment. And for each environment, Teleport lets you list all the servers that are online and you have access to. The SSH certificate issued by Teleport will expire automatically, but I can also log out at any time. As you can see, the experience of using Teleport is very similar to how we traditionally use SSH. Now let's take a look at the web UI. To access the web UI, you just use the address of the Teleport proxy. I have to go through GitHub again, but it's easy because I'm already authenticated. The first thing you see is a list of environments. They're called clusters. You can have staging or production, and you can have access configured separately for each environment. I only have one, so let's go in. In this environment, I have a couple of nodes, which I can access via a browser. You get a fully featured web-based console here, including the ability for uploading and downloading files. Let me type something in again to pretend I'm working. You can also see currently active user sessions. Let's go back to my terminal and connect one of these servers. Now, when I go back to the web UI, we can see that someone in this case, that's me, is accessing one of the machines in real time. We can even see what I'm doing there. Everything that happens inside a cluster is always recorded for auditing purposes. Let me show you the details that are captured in the audit log. Here we have a list of events. As you can see, everything is recorded, even the window resize events and data transfers. See, that's my past command line session which I can now replay and see what I have done. The recordings are not videos. They're stored as raw input and output dumps and are trivial to analyze with third-party software. I want to show you one last feature. Teleport was called Teleport because it creates an illusion of all your servers being on the same network as you. Your environments can be spread across many cloud providers, but even individual machines can be located anywhere. Let's see how I enable access to an edge device, like a self-driving vehicle. Let's assume the edge device is called Raspberry Pi. On the Pi, 
have the teleport daemon start with the following argument. And now, all users of teleport clusters can have access to this device. This works because the edge device creates an inbound SSH tunnel, which is used to proxy user connections. That was a quick demo of Gravitational Teleport. Download it from gravitational.com and take it for a spin. Thank you.